Good morning, students. Let's continue with the chapter caring for others. Let's recapitulate whatever we have learned until now. We have learned about elderly people, the differently abled people, and how we must take care of them. Elderly people are the most important essential part of the family and the society. We must take care of them and show them love and respect. People who need some special need are called special need people or also termed as differently abled people. People with low ab mental ability are called mentally challenged people. And these special need people need some special attention and some encouragement from us. And we should never make fun of them. Now, let's go ahead with the chapter and learn something new. Braille system. This little girl has lost her vision due to illness. But she uses a different system of raised dots to read. What is that? Louis Braille. Thank God, at least someone thought about these blind people and made possible reading and writing for them. At a very early age, this boy began developing tactile code that could allow blind people to read and write. Inspired by the military cryptography, he constructed an alphabet made of six raised dots called Braille. This boy was none other but the Lewis Braille. This picture is of him. Him. Braille system. People who are born blind or lose vision due to illness are called visually challenged. They use a system of raised dots that they feel fit their fingertips to read. This system is known as the Braille script. They can also learn and understand things with the help of the audio books. Sign language. Sign language. Some people face difficulty in hearing. This may be due to aging or some other reason. Such people use a hearing aid. There are some people who cannot hear at all. They are called deaf or hearing impaired. Hearing aid is of no use to them. There are some people who cannot speak at all. They are called the mute. How do they communicate? The hearing impaired and the mute people communicate through sign language. They learn to read the lips of the people talking and understand what they are trying to say. This is known as lip reading. They also use a special language of signs along with the lip reading in order to understand speech. This language of signs where hand signals represent word is called a sign language. Helping hands. Here are a few ways which we can use to help the special people around us. Number one, we should treat them equal and show respect to them. Number two, we should help them only when they ask for it. Number three, we should understand their needs. Number four, be polite to them. Number five, we must make sure that we use right terms while talking to them and not make fun of them. Let's recap. We should take care of elderly people around us. We should give respect and be polite to them. People having special needs are called special need or differently abled people. Visually challenged, hearing impaired and mute people are people with some special needs. Braille script was developed by Louis Braille. It helped the 
people who lost their vision or were bro- uh, or were born blind to read and write people who cannot hear or speak use sign language to communicate thank you stay thank you stay home stay safe